Hi, welcome to the crack of dawn. I'm Dawn Lombardi. Uh, I'm your hostess tonight, and we are doing a paint show, just like Bob Ross, except I think I'm a little louder than him. Uh, I'm alone today. I tried to get some guests. Um, my guests from Australia had to go back, so um, thanks for thanks for offering to come on because that would have been a great episode. My cameraman, Rick's Rick Ricardo. <laughs> he said he just goes Ricky Ricardo. Um, he has traveled the world and was in the Air Force, and he's, I'm gonna have him on, because he's great. So he's filming now, so great. Thank you so much, thank you Rich for directing. <laughs> so fun tonight. So um, first of all, I'm gonna show you um, this eye cream, okay? Because I went to get Botox, okay? Yeah, I'm not really, don't have a lot of money, I just like got sick of these bags. So he's gonna zoom in on my bags, you can, maybe? He's gonna zoom in in a minute on these bags. So this one's pretty bad, and this one's not that bad. But the Botox lady was like, I can't shoot into there. You need a roller. I was like, what? Just shoot it in, get rid of it. She goes, oh no, we're gonna do it up here. I'm like, up here? I could get bangs. Are you crazy? So uh, yeah. Um, anyhow, I saw a lady putting on this cream, okay? Now if you look, should I walk closer? Oh, you got it, he's got it. Okay, see this bag here, whoopsie. Is Rich gonna, he switched it. Okay, Steve, you got it. Okay, so this bag, this bag. This stuff I got, okay? And it doesn't tell you the ingredients, so you know what I mean? It could give me a whole disease. I don't know, which I, oh yeah. Okay, no, I'm doing this side. This, this bag's the worst. Now watch, I'm gonna put it right on the bag, and within about three minutes, it's gonna disappear. It's crazy, but I don't know what's in it. I'm thinking it's Elmer's glue, I really do, because I'm an artist, and I use glue a lot with elementary school kids, which I know, oh yeah. Okay, so I'm putting it on this bag, okay? And as I start to paint, he will focus in and, and they're pretty much disappear. It's crazy, okay? I'm putting that on. It kind of turns flaky white like glue does, so I mean, I don't know what I'm putting on my face. I don't care. It's fine. I'll get a facelift someday. Maybe, I don't know. Age gracefully, right? So anyway, those are gonna disappear. They might turn a little crusty white, but I don't put this on every day. I only do it if I'm going, I mean, on TV I should. I usually don't, because I just want you to see the real me. But um, yeah, it will disappear in about three minutes, and it's wild, okay? So 4th of July went by, and um, oh, we had a blast. Um, I'm gonna do something a little nautical today. So I'm gonna do these buoys, you know, those things. So these are usually on lobster pots. And uh, you cannot pull up a lobster pot. It's, a, it's against the law. So if you see one and you're in your boat, even if you touch it, you'll get caught, and you'll get arrested, because those guys, that's their livelihood, so you can't go stealing lobster pots. And I have a uh, friend that's a lawyer, I haven't seen them in a while, but Jonathan Handelman, he um, represented the people that had their lobster boats stolen or taken. And he actually had one guy shoot somebody and he defended him and won. It's crazy, over a lobster pot. So we're gonna do these buoys, they're very cute. Okay, easy to draw. And um, I'm gonna whip it up. I'm gonna put my paint on here. Okay, I'm using a blue paint because I forgot my disposable palette. Not a good idea to use blue, okay? Use white because then you can mix your colors, but I'm pretty good at it. So, yeah, um, 4th of July, what did I do? My friends came over and they had some fireworks and they shot them off in my backyard. And, um, you know, my neighbor's like a firefighter and I'm just doing all the colors here, okay? So right now I have blue and white. I'm gonna do a whole pile of colors. And I mean, we might whip this up in 30 minutes because we were chatting. We were gonna have some Chinese food delivered, yeah, during the episode, just like I did with the pizza, you know? So um, these buoys are very pretty, especially you see them on like um, shacks down at like lobster huts and stuff. Um, people put them on the side of their sheds and stuff, only when you live in the ocean, but they're very nautical looking. And so, yeah, they're really fun and they're gonna look good. So first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some paint out and then I'm gonna put the picture, what did I do with the picture, uh-oh. I just held it up, here it is. <laughs> so I usually put the picture here so I can reference. So I'm gonna do the background first, and first I'm gonna draw it so you can see, okay? So I'm gonna do the drawing, which will probably be over here, and I'm gonna do the drawing after the picture, okay? They don't have to be perfect. This is a cylinder, okay? This thing's gonna stick out of it. We're gonna do, oh, there, here's the stripe. Make it smiley face because it's round. Okay, I'm gonna put another one back here. I think that's like straighter. And my Sharpie will probably th show through. And Rich, my director tonight, 
I think you're the director. Maybe I'm the director. I think I'm the producer. I get it so mixed up because I don't know television. But we're having so much fun here. So I'm going to draw this buoy. It's not so bad, OK? It's a big oval, as you can see. This one goes over that one. And this one's kind of a different, weird, weird shape. OK, it's just like a beer bottle, really, OK? Same thing. It's a cylinder. OK, and then I'm going to have to put these nail right here and these ropes that are holding them on there. OK, I'm doing it really light because I don't know what I'm doing right, right now. OK, we're going to make those like that. And we got the buoys. I need the shadows, but I'll add those afterwards. OK, so you can see I've got pretty much the buoys all drawn. If it takes you three hours to draw this, don't worry about it. OK, I just whip it up. OK, I might make my buoys different colors. Now, every buoy um, on a lobster pot, they've since changed the buoys so they're not wooden anymore. They used to be black, black oak or something, black fur, or something like that. They made the buoys so they float. But now they're styrofoam, OK? And other buoys that you see in the ocean that, aren't, that don't look like this, the metal ones and stuff, that means whether or not to drive your boat on one side or the other. So the right, if you're a boater, is starboard. And the, no, yeah, and the left, right is starboard, left is like port. You know, all these fancy terms. So, you know, it's like talking golf, okay? By the way, we're watching a lot of golf. Lots of Red Sox. Oh my God, the Red Sox beat the Yankees last night. Sorry if you're a Yankees fan, but you guys were ahead like four innings and then the Red Sox came back. I think it was like 11 to something. But anyway, that was a great win. And one of my friends put on Facebook, anybody want two tickets? So. I could have gone, but you know, my kid would have liked to. So what I'm going to do is put a bunch of colors. Okay, I'm going to do a lot of white because you can see the background has a lot of white, but it also has some blue and orange in there, and it's just a background. So I'm going to start doing that now. Some of this paint's old, Oof. but that's okay. And these little paints here, I got little ones, I got big ones, all different col colors and sizes, and you can do whatever you want with yours. So I'm going to start with the white background. OK, now the white isn't really all white. Let me get some red, too. Put some red in there. Yeah, so I took the kids um, to the beach with friends. We went to Ocean State Park or something like that in New London. And then we went to Rocky Neck, OK? Little kids everywhere, people smoking pot next to me, behind me, in front of me. It was like. Skunk Beach, you know? So I thought to myself, my kids are 15 and 18, and they don't do that stuff, hopefully. But you know what I'm saying? Little kids, it was just really, really rude. I thought, you know what? <sighs> go to your car, go in the bushes. This is crazy. So, you know, they were like, Mom, it's fine. I'm like, it's not fine. There's little kids in front of us. It's not right. So I didn't like that part, but whatever. Then the next week, I think I've told you before, my husband loves the Grateful Dead. Oh my God. I, I, I mean, it's not like I can't stand them, but I, I don't like them. So, and he doesn't smoke pot. He's never would, never have, I don't think. Anyway, but he's totally straight laced, Tony Lombardi. <laughs> so, Tony took us all. I'm like, don't buy a ticket for me. I'm not going to that. I'm going to hate it. It's a waste of money. Well, he sneaks the ticket. He's like, let's go out as a family. I'm like, you don't do anything with us as a family. Why now? So we all went to the Grateful Dead concert. And to tell you the truth, there was more pot on that beach than there was at the Grateful Dead. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what to do anymore. I don't care. But I'm like, oh my god, what is going on? So I mixed red, uh, white with a tiny bit of orange. OK, and I'm going to put it all over the background. Don't forget to paint the sides. I'm going to use a lot of water so it spreads, OK, a little bit of orange. Mine doesn't have to be anything like the picture I'm doing, does it? OK, I hope you can see. I'm just, whoopsie, I grabbed green by accident. Totally put green on my picture. So if that happens, I didn't bring any Kleenex either, which is not smart. But I'm just going to go like this with my finger, OK? And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get rid of it when it dries, OK? This, I'm just going to, I think I'm going to wipe it. See, I mean, got it everywhere. I'm going to wipe it on the back of the picture because I forgot the Kleenex. You always have to have, you always have to have napkins or paper towels or something to uh, get your brush going. Okay, so I kind of wrecked that, but that's all right. We're going to keep going, so you know that I make mistakes too. So we're going to do. I'm going to leave that green because that won't be covered up. Okay. So yeah, I hope everybody had a great Fourth of July. Uh, my kid graduated. Yay, James, and he was very particular about where he was going, keeping in mind that mom and dad don't have a ton of money. Oh, he's so nice. I'm like, no, 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 James, go wherever you want. He's like, I don't want debt. 
and uh, he, we went up to a couple colleges. He got into most, of, no, he got into everything he applied to. He just didn't get the Yukon stores campus. So he didn't want that. He wanted to be, uh, he didn't want to go to Hartford and he didn't want to go to Waterbury. He wanted to be, uh, he wanted to be at stores because he loves sports and he probably would have wanted to go to a lot of basketball games and stuff. See Donovan Klingman, Klingman, is that his name? It's the kid's like 7'7", seven, seven, and he's built. He's from Bristol. He's playing for UConn. He probably could have played wherever he wanted to. But I bet you he would, oh, he would have been a great guest. Donovan, will you come on the show? Oh my God, he'd be a great guest, especially with Kochi. Donovan, Kochi's coming on, uh, let me think of the date. July 25th, Kochi's coming on, and we're going to talk some more hockey. I believe, oh, look at my ice cream, see? Told you. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So, anyhow, uh, Donovan Klingman is going to play for UConn, and so he's friends with Kochi, or he knows him anyway, because he went to the same school Kochi did, and Kochi coaches there. So I'm almost done with my background. Remember, I'm leaving that green because I, if I go over it with red, it's going to turn brown. Oh, that might not be so bad, but I'm going to wait till it dries. So I want to get my background in there, and I also want these buoys to have shadows behind them. You can see. There's shadows right right around here. The shadows are very important with art. Okay, so we're gonna whip this up and I'm gonna do these shadows. I'm just gonna add a little blue and a little black to the white and that's gonna be my shadow. Okay, I got a little blue and black mixed with white just to make it shadowy. Okay, and I'm gonna put that as my shadows and then I'm gonna put my buoys in last and this, this should pop. Now we could do this in one episode, I'm not sure. I made these guys hang around because we were trying to order Chinese food. Huh. We were gonna have them come through the door with the Chinese food. Mm. Or Toro Loco, closed on Monday. Mm. Never tried it. That is right down the road from us. So I mean, if they were open, we would have got an order over here. We have 15 minutes, can you even believe it? I better go fast, but that's all right. They like when I do two episodes. It's just, we started a little late. I don't wanna keep everybody, but everybody said they don't care. So isn't that nice? Yeah, so um, we're gonna do these buoys. We're supposed to go down to the vineyard, but um, yeah, I don't know if we will. We might. It's very expensive now. Yeah, and it's better to go in September when everything's closed down, everybody's gone, and you kind of feel like more of a vineyard person, you know, instead of going where... It's busy in Edgartown. It's busy in Oak Bluffs. There's people everywhere. Okay, I got my shadows in. So now I'm going to do my buoys, okay? I'm going to start. I am going to start, since I don't have any yellow on here, I'm going to get some yellow, okay? Get some yellow on here. I'll do this yellow. Eh, I'll do this yellow. Any yellow. Okay, there's all different kinds of yellows, millions of kinds. I'm just gonna put that tube out there, okay? And I'm gonna go in, remember to walk, clean your brush, always keep a paper towel next down, because then you can like dab it so it's clean. But I didn't do that, so I'm gonna start with yellow, and I'm gonna put it right on this buoy here. Don't worry about that green, because that's gonna go away, okay? Now this buoy is gonna have shadows and everything on it. It's gonna, it's gonna look good. Okay, and I had these buoys. I had them at my house, and I don't know what happened to them. You don't want to get green in the yellow because that's going to turn green. Yellow and green is going to make more green. So you want some shadows on there. You don't want it all the same color yellow. So you just add some white there, okay? I'm going fast. 15 minutes, maybe I can get this done. I don't know, maybe. Okay, this is also yellow. It doesn't have to be exactly, okay? And this thing here is a reddish yellow, which makes orange. So. I can use the orange and I can make this buoy orange if I wanted to. So I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna make that one orange. I'm gonna add some red later too. We still gotta do the string on the top. So yeah, we're um, out for school. Very happy. Love my job. Oh my God, love it. Love it. And love my students. I'm teaching in Hartford right now at the Seventh Advent Church. Mm -hmm. And I love it. All my kids uh, are great. But I asked them, I said, you guys go to Hartford schools? No. Nope. I go to Windsor. I go to Berlin. I think it's because they play football. I have no idea. But I'm like, really? Oh, OK. I don't care. So I'm going to get some more red out. Yep, make a really nice red buoy. Bright red. If I can find the right bright red, I'd use it. Uh, I don't really have the right bread, so I'm going to use this one. I can mix it with orange, I could, okay? So we're going to throw this one in there, okay? And the bottom of it is also that color. Throw that in there. I'm globbing mine on, and you don't have to. 
Okay, and then also the stripes on this buoy are kind of red. So I'm gonna put that, this is kind of a purplish red, so I wish I brought the bright red, I just don't. I could have it in my bag down here, but I don't really care at this point. Maybe it's this, yeah. This is like a brighter red, you can see. It's kind of like an orangey red, but let's try it out and see what's in there. And then we probably have like 10 minutes, maybe eight, I don't know. But we're gonna go. I can't get this on my nice dress. Yeah, I was wearing these dresses around because I thought it's so much easier to throw in. It'll be 10 minutes, perfect. I might be able to do it. So I'm gonna do that, okay? I'm gonna go in, put this there. Sometimes the buoys are kind of um, like square on the top, not always. And this one has another stripe here. And the tip of it is red. Oh, this one's also red. So we're gonna just make that red. Okay, you gotta make one side of the buoy stick uh, lighter and one darker because the light is gonna hit one side of it and not the other. Okay, we're gonna go quick. Now, this buoy is, I think I have another plate under here, I do. So always have a couple plates. You can still go back to this one. I'm gonna take some black and put that on there. And I'm gonna do the buoy that's kind of white, kind of blackish. Gonna need some more white. Always use a lot of paint. And Allie did a great job last week, the girl that I grabbed from Blick. I was just there today. I'm, I'm like, any money you wanna be a guest? They're like, I'm not ready. I'm like, I know, I, I, I should have asked you a week ago. But I really thought I had some guests coming on. I'm gonna make this side of it gray, because it is gray, okay? And I'm gonna leave the other side of it white, because that's what makes it look real, okay? So you don't wanna make it, oh, it's white. Mrs. Lombardi, it's white. I'm like, no, 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 no. It's not white, just like when we were painting the Adirondack chairs last week. Um, it's not all white, you know? So we're gonna do that, do that one. Okay, and I'm gonna make this side darker, and I'll make this side darker yellow. So I'm gonna take some yellow, mix it with some black, <laughs> and you can do the other side will be a darker, let's see if I can do it, darker yellow, okay? And even underneath this buoy, it's gonna, it might be darker because it's shadow, okay? And it's just a cylinder. It's just a cylinder, just like if you're drawing a glass, a cup of coffee or a cupcake, you know, like we used to do. I'm going to get my blue and I'm going to bring my blue over here, okay? As soon as it looks good, we stop. But if it looks bad, we're going to do another episode, if we can, okay? If not, we can bring it up and bring it next time. It doesn't matter. So my, my guest next week, the 25th, is going to be Kochi again because he said something about their trading teams with hockey. I don't know anything about hockey, but he does. So he said something about maybe they're doing their drafts, you know, like basketball and stuff like that. So I don't really know, but that's what he said. Okay, I'm gonna start going in. There's some blue here, which is weird. I'm just gonna make that blue, because we don't have time. Yeah, I'm gonna make that blue. Okay, and then we're gonna do the ropes at the top. Looks cute, I like it. Show you. They're just gonna be hanging from like a rope at the top, okay? And when they do the credits, I can still be going. I can, I can still do it. There's like a red dot on here, I don't know why. And this red is a lot lighter right here because the sunlight's hitting it differently. So we're gonna do, whoopsie, easel's falling over here. This one I'm gonna do here. And these little tabletop easels online, I think they're like seven or eight, maybe $12. I mean, not that much, okay? And we're gonna make these pop, hopefully. So I'm gonna keep going. Now is the time where I think I can go in and cover up that. Let me get my easel. My microphone fell on the ground. Does it still work? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go in with a lot of white and I'm gonna go over that. Move this around a little. Don't forget to paint the sides. Very important to paint the sides, okay? Because then people don't have to frame them. It looks really pretty. You just take the same thing here move this around a little. I probably have five minutes. I might be able to finish it. Who knows? Okay, we got to do those strings though, those ropes that are holding them. They're yellowish brown. Okay, red and green make brown. So if I have green and red, five minutes, it's perfect. I'm going to take this green and red and it's going to make brown, as you can see. Okay, and the brown, I forgot where they put the brown. Uh, the brown is like, oh, there's some darker stuff over here. And you can, red and green make brown, yellow and uh, purple make brown. Uh, whatever is the opposite, whatever is the opposite on the color wheel. And that's how it works. So we'll put that there because we're going to have some shading there. It's kind of going behind the other one. Okay. And then I'm going to do the strings. 
should look good. I don't know. We might have to go into a second episode. Oh, I know what I was making. I was making the strings. So the strings are kind of like a yellowy. I have the color, actually. I should just use it. So when you can't mix the color, just grab it. So you're better off if, say, say you're not really good at mixing paints. I'm very good at it. I've been doing it forever. But if you're not good at it, just buy all the colors. And that way, they're all mixed for you. Now, in an art school, they're probably not going to let you do that. Maybe. Not where I went. But um, yeah. So anyhow, I try, you know, I applied at McDonald's again. drive through Last year, I applied. Now, this sounds awful. And you know, my kids were like, Mom. I'm like, well, what? So I applied to McDonald's um, last year during the summer. And my kids were like, Mom, what are you, crazy? I'm like, I just, I need it. I, you know, I'm, I got the summer off. I'm not going to make what I make teaching. So everybody else makes $15 an hour. I will. And I want to do McDonald's, just the drive through Well, this time, last time I told them you know, that I had a degree, this time I told them that I had a GED, thinking that maybe, why aren't they hiring me? Am I overqualified? Because what's wrong with that? I just want to work the job. So anyway, I don't know what the heck happened. But no, I haven't heard from, um, what's the guy's name? I forgot his name. Edwin. I think it was Edwin. Plainville. Sorry. But I would have loved. These are the ropes. They don't have to be perfect. OK? You're just kind of showing that they're hanging from something. And then you got to put a highlight on them. So you want some white mixed in with that so that the rope looks like it's real. So you just kind of throw it around like that. OK? We're going to do a little bit more background. And then we'll wrap up this episode. OK? So I'm just going to throw some of that in there, a little lighter maybe. And we'll throw this, whoops, that's too dark. I need some more white. So remember, always have your white ready, because you might need it, and also for highlights. So I'm going to go around with the white right now and show you exactly what I'm talking about, OK? So I'm going to go around with the white. I see some here. Do globs, because my paint's very wet. So I'm going to do globs there. Oh, I see one here, and I see one here, and I see one right there. So I'm going to put that on. This one has some more white here. It has a little bit of white here. And it has like two things of white there. And then this one up here is all just going to fill that in. We don't want that Sharpie mark. And we have two minutes left. It's perfect. Oh my gosh. So I want to thank, again, Ricardo. Everybody says, like, do you have a girlfriend? And he goes, I'm looking for Lucy. <laughs> So funny. That's how everybody remembers his name. So I'm going to whip this up. We're going to wrap it up and see how it looks, OK? Paint the sides, please. Uh, it's very important, unless you're going to frame it. And um, I hope everybody's having a great summer. I hope this has been probably, don't you think, Ricardo, I mean, one of the best one of the best summers for weather-wise, for me anyway. I thought last summer was not this. It was not like this. Um, it rained a lot, I think. So we're going to wrap this up. Two minutes left. Thanks for tuning in. I promise you, I've got a coachy coming on next week. We're going to talk some more hockey. Uh, I believe the Tampa Bay Lightning one, but uh, he's probably looking right now going, no. I think it was Avalanche and Tam Tampa Bay Lightning. And um, if they're hard to do, I will make it. And if you want to come on the show, please just call Nutmeg TV and say, I want to be on the crack of dawn. You're on. Doesn't matter who you are, you're on. OK? You're on. You're my guest. So you just call, and we'll schedule you in. And then you come on. And you don't have to, preferably, I don't want you to know how to paint, because I want to know more about you. We are trying to learn more about the people in our community. So I like to pull people on that um, are random, like Allie. I just grabbed her from the art store, because I didn't have a guest. Crazy, but I did. So thanks for tuning into the Crack of Dawn. Call up, get on the show with me. Um, you can use my eye cream if you have bags. And uh, it works great. So thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you on the 25th, except it airs like four or five days later, sometimes two weeks. Um, I'd love to thank all the people at Nutmeg TV. Um, we hope to get syndicated, whatever that means. That would be so fun. And then these people will be my friends forever, because I love it here. I really love it here. It's so much fun. And if you ever want to do your own show, you can do your own show, I think. I think so. So we're going to wrap it up. Remember when you're painting, when you're putting your name in there, looks pretty good. When you're putting your name, sometimes, like I said, I just do it with pencil down here. That's pretty bad, but I'll do it later. So I just put the pencil into the painting, kind of like there. You can probably see it. Mine's pretty messy. I got the lighting wrong. Here we go. You can see it in the corner. But um, yeah, mine's pretty messy when I sign it. But um, I love it. 
So I'll see you again. And if you ever want to come on, I love it. I put a, I put a um, easel right here. Don't you just love it? I just love it. If you listen to WJMJ during the commercials when it says, I love it, I think that's me. I love it. So I'm going to keep painting. Credits will flow. We should have bloopers. Oh, I don't think I have any bloopers, though. I don't swear. I make a habit not to. I mean, I know how to, but I just, you know, I don't. I don't. I don't need to. Plus, it's not the way my mother raised. Sometimes life just happens. Don't worry. Farmington Motorsports will get you back on the road and at a fair price. From towing to tires, emissions to transmissions. Our ASC certified techs do it all. Farmington Motorsports is a family-run business. We're a Napa Auto Center and AAA approved. We work on all makes and models from preventative maintenance to major repairs. And every repair is backed by our two-year, 24,000 mile nationwide warranty. When life happens to you, don't worry. Farmington Motorsports.